Good morning ladies and gentlemen. It is Simon at Vans today here in Worcester. I'm here to give you a video walk around of this 2016 on a 66 plate. It is the Peugeot Boxer L4 H2. Um, so that's extra long wheelbase, high roof. Um, and it is in professional specification, which is the top of the range specification available at the time. It's a two keeper from new vehicle um, with, the, uh, with a good service history with it. Uh, it is fitted with the 2.2 diesel engine. Now, it is a bit of a unicorn, this vehicle. Now, bear with me why I explain. Whilst I explain, I should say. Um, so, officially, that 2.2 engine in this year was a Euro 5 engine. Um, now, in there, this is what makes it such a farce. Is um, So, there's no add blue on it, which is good. Okay, that is a good thing. Trust me. Um, now, um, it got to the stage in 2016 where the powers that be just decided to go, right, anything registered from now onwards is classed as a Euro 6 emissions compliant van. Um, and so um, that's what happened to this. So um, it is ULEZ, LEZ, emission zone compliant, but it is the 2.2 Euro 5. So you haven't got any of those dodgy ad blue issues to mess around with. Um, so in my eyes, that's a good thing. Now it's a two keeper from new vehicle. I know the second owner, uh, it hasn't got any VAT on it because he wasn't VAT registered. He was a private individual, just used it for carting his motorbike around to events. Um, it has covered 60, is it 63,000? We'll clarify that in a second when we get inside. Um, good service history with it. Now it has had a replacement engine in it at 58,000 miles under warranty. That was because the EGR cooler blocked up on it and then blew the engine. So um, you are getting a van that has got a, a replacement 5,000 mile engine sat in it, apparently. Um, so that's got to be another positive, surely. Uh, and it's in pretty good all round condition. Um, now, if you haven't watched any of our videos before, the purpose of the videos is to give you a walks and all video walk around of the van. So you get an idea of exactly what it is that you're buying. And then you can make that informed decision whether this is the vehicle for you or not. Now, um, you do get a properly prepared van uh, with a warranty. Um, yes, we can do the part exchange. Yes, we can do finance. Um, uh, yes, uh, as I say, fully prepared van. Um, uh, and, I, and I think you'll pick up on that um, as we go around it. Now, normally I'll be showing you up on the roof. Obviously I can't get up there on the roof, but uh, it all looks pretty good um, from what I've seen. Uh, roof cone etc that's all looking good coming down to your windscreen uh, windscreen is in good all-round condition there are no major stone chips or cracks that's going to cause us any grief when it comes to mot time front of the bonnet all looking good front grills etc all neat and tidy passenger side headlamp units all good passenger side front bumper corner all good no major scuffing have a look down the side profile of the van um, and you can see there are no major dents or dings. It's got a nice reflection to the paintwork. Um, just shows you it's, it's seen a little bit of love in its time, doesn't it? Around to the driver's side. Driver's side headlamp unit's all good. Driver's side front bumper corner, again, all good, no major scuffs. Again, looking down the side profile of the van. Um, all looking straight and tidy. And then passenger side front wing. Uh, all good passenger side front steel wheel uh, you've got a, a budget tire on there that tire has that element of tire tread depth i've taken photos of them now where we are with tires anything less than three mil we replace the legal limit being 1.6 mirror unit with integrated indicator and upper and lower mirrors are in good condition driver's side door glass overall good condition driver's side door itself again overall good condition Door handle and locks all good. The door edges are lined up as you would expect them to. No major damage to the uh, door edges or anything. If I get down on the creaky old knees, have a look at the lower sills. You can see those are in good condition. Your protective strips down the side of the vehicle, all present correct as are your side marker lights, no damage to them. Mid quarter, that's all looking good. Rear quarter, again, all looking good. Uh, driver's side rear steel wheel, budget tyre, tyre again, as you can see there. And then 
Let's look down the side profile of the van and you can see, again, nice reflective finish to the paintwork and it all looks very respectable. Let me do a standoff side profile shot for you. Excuse me, we've got bits of shadow and stuff um, reflecting against the van at the moment, but there you go. Uh, rear bumper corners, these are good. Rear light units are good. No major scuffing on them or anything. Your rear doors we have on a 50-50 split. Rear barn doors on a 50-50 split. No major damage to those. You do have reverse parking sensors. Uh, door handle and locks all looking good. Your door edges line up as you'd expect them to. A couple of minor little touch-ins here and here. Um, let's give you a close-up of the driver's side and a close-up of the passenger side. And then if we open up the rear doors. And so it's been valeted. Okay, it's pretty cold in the mornings at the moment. There's a bit of condensation on the roof. We can put the dehumidifier in it. Uh, now it has arrived in with us with no bulkhead. I think we have a spare bulkhead somewhere if that's a major drama for you. Um, but I suspect it might go for conversion this, but who knows, who knows. So inside, Gives me a chance to give you a good overhead view of the inside of the vehicle and the seats, etc. It's all very clean and tidy. Back of your seats, as you can see, nice and tidy. All under here, again, clean and tidy. Uh, you've got your shelf above here. Bit of dynamatting on the front there or a similar product. Um, and then flooring inside, it's all got... Um, all clean and tidy all your tie down points are where they should be arch cover missing but that's kind of fairly standard i don't know what happens to arch covers that uh, come off but somebody um somebody has them inside of the rear doors again you know there's wear and tear on there but they're not battered to death from stuff flying around so all looking good light unit minor little chip there but that's not affecting the light unit itself um, rear bumper corners all looking good look down the passenger side and again all looking neat and tidy upper quarter this side we have minor little mark there which i think some of that's going to tea cut out so i think we'll get away with a bit of tea cut and touching in there but upper rear quarter is good Lower rear quarter, also good. All of your plastics are in nice condition. Arch, extenders, etc., all good. Steel wheels, minor elements of corrosion on them. Another budget tyre. Tyre has plenty of tyre tread depth. Um, getting down low, check out your lower sills. Good condition, tidy enough. Same with your protective strips going down the side of the vehicle. Side marker lights are all where they should be. Sliding doors, all good. Passenger side door, that's all looking good. Handles, etc., all fine. Mirror unit, upper and lower mirrors are good. Got a bit of water ingress into the indicator. We'll bang a fresh indicator on there. That's not a major problem. And then your passenger side front door, um, sorry, passenger side front wing, that's all in good order. Passenger side front steel wheels, good. Um, that I think is about it on the outside. Let's move inside for you, show you your sliding door. So a few things to note really. Your door shuts, these are clean and tidy with no excessive wear or tear on them. Um, again, just another viewpoint of the back of the van from inside. Passenger door, tidy as well. Door shuts are good. Entry seals and plastics are good. Flooring inside's all good. Seat trim, etc., clean and tidy. I'll show you under the bonnet in a second. I'm running out of battery life on the camera. It keeps on coming up. Low battery warning. Are we going to make it to the end of the video? Let's speed it up, Simon. Engine bay, tidy enough. Driver's door card, all good. Electric windows and mirrors, entry seals and plastics are good, 
flooring inside obviously it's got the normal wear and tear on the flooring there they have glued a rubber mat over the top of it and then being professional spec you've got sorry instrument binnacle clean and tidy no excessive dust stuck in there or anything 61,900 miles um, indicators wipers cruise control with speed limiter multi-function steering wheel steering wheels in nice tidy condition as well there's no excessive wear or tear six-speed manual gearbox air conditioning dab fm am with bluetooth telephone and bluetooth music nice bit of storage in there usb power is up under there 12 volt power on there as well and as we have a low battery that's a very quick walk around of the van there are 50 to 60 photos on our website. Our website is vanstoday.com. We are Vans Today Worcester, based in the centre of the country, offering you nationwide delivery, part of change finance. Um, if you're worried about who you're buying off, check out our reputation online. And then after all of that, the telephone goes. So, um, yeah, um, that's about it. It's about 15 minutes of your life. You're never going to get back there, but it gives you an honest description of the vehicle. Um, feel free to give us a shout. Not one of my finest videos, it has to be said. Um, however, give us a shout with any queries. Thanks for watching. Cheers, back.